Hello, I am Salman Dahar. Today I'm going to present a research titled Upper Lambda Prosthesis Controlling by EMG Signals Using Machine Learning, supervised by Dr. Muthanna Al Qubaili. We start with the introduction. Prosthesis can play an important role in rehabilitation for many people who had an amputation. For example, an artificial limb can improve the mobility and the ability to manage daily activities. To meet that need, more techniques are being developed every day. The prosthesis that has the most features is the one that is very interactive with the human body and the one that has advanced movements and sensibility and strong ability to their processing. Therefore, the EMG signals were chosen to, to control the prosthesis in this model. Therefore, the EMG signals were chosen to control the prosthesis in this model. The full model consists of three main elements, which are the myoarm band that acquires the EMG signals from the forearm, and the Arduino microcontroller, which receives the data from the myoarm band, and the third one is the Bystone model that classify and analyze the data on Arduino. Now we move to the Mayo armband. To facilitate real-time processing, the Mayo armband has been chosen for the acquisition of EMG signals from the forearm. The Mayo armband contains eight channels as shown in the figure. These eight channels or sensors receive the EMG signals and send it to another device via Bluetooth. Unfortunately, most PLE hardware has a very limited feature set that none of the available PLE modules could connect directly to the Mayo armband. The problem of connecting the Mayo armband to the Arduino can be solved by developing a custom firmware uh, for these modules, which then provides an access to the Mayo data. The Mayo Bridge firmware fits exactly this purpose. It's a custom firmware for HM11 PLE module. When the HM11 chip is connected to the Mayo armband, the Arduino can receive data from the Mayo armband. The communication between the HM11 module and the Arduino uses a simple two-wire communication, serial communication, while the Mayo armband connects directly to the HM11 by Bluetooth. After the data are ready to be processed in the Arduino microcontroller, the decision tree classifier will start to analyze the signal's values and classify them. A pre-trained Python model was provided to Arduino microcontroller genera and generated as a C file generated by MicroMLGE and li Python library which generates C codes from Python scikit-learn library to Arduino or microcontrollers. The decision tree classifier was trained on 12 uh, datasets and uh, optimized by increasing its uh, max depth to 32. And uh, it was able to classify a lot of data, giving an accurate results. In this model, the prosthesis is controlled by five servo motors, where each finger movement is uh, executed by one servo motor. The palm of the hand was taken as a zero level for estimating the rotation angles for each servo motor. And this is a diagram demonstrates the whole algorithm. And this is a simulation video for the results. Uh, where each servo motor is controlled by the EMG signals. And now we move to the results. The proposed method proved its efficiency and it was able to distinguish between 12,000 signals, EMG signals, and give each one an accurate class and the accuracy rate reached up to 98%. And this is a figure illustrates the predictions and the errors. In conclusion, in this research, new movements for EMG-based prosthesis 
were implemented. They differ from traditional methods in using machine learning and in the accuracy rate. In the future, this method can be further improved by adding new datasets and using more accurate and complex machine learning algorithms. Likewise, adding sensors to the prosthesis to make it more interactive with the human body. Finally, this project is for humanity before being a tool to learn from. And this is a list of references that I have used. And thanks for listening.